so we are back to my old little friend. So what do we have to do is uh, go with like a full uh, maintenance, uh, you know, cleaning the potentiometers, uh, the power wires. I am not happy for five amps, so I want to replace those wires. Then we have this little device, and this is nice. I'm going to show you on the screen, yeah? So we can uh, display all the data going through the this USB power meter. And uh, we're going to have PC connection. I mean, this is an expensive thingy. Proper nice, yeah? But very hard to be used. So basically, you need uh, two USB-C cables. You have here two USB-C cables in order to use it with a laptop. That's the only reason why I could not use this. I mean, for me, it's more easy to have the USB-C here and plug it into the laptop instead of having like two cables. So this is like hanging around here. You know, just uh, it's just annoying. So I'm not using this. I'm just keeping here for nothing. We're going to use this with this power supply. Then we're going to have PC connection. 5 amps, it is what it is, but I really need a power supply. I can't, uh, I have a bunch of jobs and we have to sort this problem. Now I know at some point I bought a new potentiometer here. I just need to find it and replace it. Just give me like a few minutes. Ha, huh, I'm not the same. Can't believe. Perfect, so we... Uh, Clean the potentiometers. I put back the metal cover on that one. I can put them back now. Now on these wires, if you have tiny wires like this one, yeah, you lose a lot of current. So when you are working with like low voltage, uh, you are losing voltage on the wires. So these wires has to be replaced. So with five amps, like one volt, probably like a hundred millivolts, we're gonna lose on the on these wires. Perfect, right? Yeah. Now this is a cable meant to carry current. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we have to see how we are connecting to the current sensor from here. So not sure. How should I do it? I mean, I can open and take two wires, but I can also uh, I can also use uh, two USB-C, and I'm using depends where is the current sensor on the plus line or on the ground line. Hmm? Must be the plus, right? But not always. I think we should open it and uh, have a look inside. I can't even open this thingy. Well, we have to do it by wires. 240 watts uh, cable, so it must be solid. We're looking for red and black because not sure. Where is the current sensor? So how we are testing if indeed it's working? Well, in theory, I know how to test it, but you know, very possible uh, we can do like stupid things. So as soon as the current is going through the red wire to the red wire, it, it should show the current. Means, yeah, but just in theory. I mean, it should be like even practical speaking. If we are shorting the the plus and minus and on the other side we have a plus and a minus, then we should see a current. That's like a short circuit current. So not sure how how we can test it. I mean we should test it with this uh, with the power supply itself, right? Yeah. Check here we have plus minus and we have plus minus. I mean, this plus minus should be enough. Good, so we have one wire. I think this is minus and this is plus, yeah. Ready? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. 
I have the same feeling. So the power supply is on. Good. Let me lower the voltage. We have like one volt low current. Yeah. Okay. So we have the we have the, the thingy, we have the screen, yeah, all good. So plus and minus, not sure which one. And we have 200 milliamps. Check that. Oh, you can't see. Should I move to the... Actually, let me bring the meter onto the OBS. One second. Like that. What do you think? So now it's no current. But as soon as I show the thing is... Check that. Oh, 200 milliamps. Okay, let's do a test. So the, the current sensor is on the plus wire. So erasing the current, check there, two amps. Let me see if it's precise. So I have two amps. Yeah, it is two amps. 4.5 amps. It is good. And uh, the voltage, how we can check the voltage? We need to have a ground for that. Ground. No, it's getting shorted with the ground. One second, why? Why is it getting shorted with the ground? Yes, yeah, something is not right. Let me lower the current. Ground, yeah, it's short. And you can't see the current. This ground? No, short. This ground? Yeah, this ground. So check here. With this ground, we have 1.6 and raising the voltage. Now we have like 19, 19. Yeah, now it's 19. Ah, check that, check that, we have the voltage. So it has to be this ground. Not sure I understand why I cannot use this ground. It's weird. It's, it's like the black wire is actually is plus, but it's not. So we have to use this ground. And yeah, we can... Uh... Why is beeping? Because it's over 28, right? Yeah, it has a limit. But what is beeping? On the computer is beeping. Okay, that's fine. We don't need that sort of voltage. No, actually you can... Ah, uh, no, no, no. We can set up alarms here. Yeah, check here. VBUS alarm. You can see on the screen here. And current alarm. So it's going up to 7 amps. We don't need 7 amps. All we have at least like 5 amps. Yeah, we can disable the alarms. Or we can set up, you can't see, sorry. You can set up, let's say, 20, 20 volts is max uh, voltage. And current, yes, yeah, 7 amps, we don't have 7 amps anyway. Fantastic. Okay, so we need this ground. I mean, this ground with this ground should be together, and it's not, it is together, yeah. Then we cannot use the black wires. Yeah. Give me like a few minutes. Let me sort everything. Okay. Okay, so this is plus. Then minus uh, wire. I know it has to come here, but I want it straight here. Yeah, I want the wire exactly here. Then I, I want the output wire soldered exactly on the connector, so we are not losing current.
good. So the plus wire is older here. Then this ground is not important. We can use this wire. On the ground is not going current. It's just reading the voltage. Ground here. Perfect. And what is left is the ground wire here. Perfect, so everything is in place. So what do you think, it will work or not? We need a computer cable, which is connected here. Good. Now, plug in the power. Good. We have two volts. Great, raising the voltage, check there, ah, we have 19, good. Now let's, uh, you know, 8, no, one second, 19, we have 19, 19.1 actually, and it is 19.1, check the 19.2 actually, you see, good. So now if we are shorting, let's say we are trying to push some current. Let's try with 19 volts, yeah? So shorting, and we can see the current, check that 1.2 amps, yeah? And the voltage get dropped to 0 0.2. Okay, let's push more current. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I mean, we have like 0 0.8 volts. He's saying 0 0.7, but here I can see 0 0.8 with 4.5 amps. Yeah, we are pushing current. 4.5, let's raise the current to 5, 5 amps. So with 5 amps, I have like 0 0.9. Oh, no. Kind of high, 0 0.9 volts. Not sure how much I'm losing on the wires, yeah? But I'm going to short here with the tweezer. Let's see. With the tweezer, we have 0 0.6. Yeah, better. Better. Lol. Yeah, it got hot and the tip got melted. I can't believe. Oh, I broke my tweezer. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. We are not always pushing 5 amps. But... Yeah, we can do it. Huh? 19 volts and short 5 amps. Yeah. Fantastic. Lowering the voltage. Short 5 amps. So we are pushing with 1.6 volts 5 amps. Lowering the voltage with 1 volt. We are pushing 5 amps. Yeah. It's decent, right? It's working! <laughs> huh? So what do you think? So one more time, if you try to use this on your power supply, like the way how you use, it's your power supply, you cut the plus wire. You cut the plus wire, you cut two USB-Cs, and you're using the red wire. So you see the red wire is one connected to the output, one connected to the input. If you want to check the voltage also, I'm assuming you want to check the voltage. So you have the grounds, you connect it to ground. That's all what you have to do, nothing else. Okay, great. Let me put it all back together and let's do a final test. Say hello to my little friend, huh? Or my little old friend.
all done. So everything is on place. We have the PC wire is coming here. We have the screen on the on the display there. So now we can change the voltage. Yeah, check that. Mm -hmm. We can, uh, you know, push current. Three amps, four, five. Yeah, all good. So what do you think? Working? Working great. Working great. I don't understand why I didn't do this from before. Because now I'm, I'll put the power supply here and I'm free to spin the buttons. But before I have the camera in the front, like this camera. But you can't, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Wow, what a journey. So the problem is solved for the moment. Um, five amps is still five amps. But we have a, you know, a cheap power supply with PC communication. Yeah. Okay. I'm going back to repair something. I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. You know, like, subscribe. Okay. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.